I want to take just a moment to welcome each and every one of you, especially uh, our dignitaries who are with us today. And uh, my name is Chaplain Pat Colder, and this is another one of our chaplains, Larry Mendugno. And we're going to start with a little prayer, a little opening prayer. And I want to ask everybody to join me and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have heard many times over that none of us know the time nor the place that our lives here on earth will change forever. Today, the Ventura County Fire Department pauses for just a moment to salute once again and honor with this memorial wall behind me, one of our very own. As you know well, Ryan Austin was only 38 years old and was following in his beloved father's footsteps when that beautiful smile that his wife Jennifer, his daughter Amanda, and his son Brandon, and all of your faithful servants gathered here today, who knew him well and so well, was tragically taken from us. For all of his life, Ryan wanted, with every fiber of his being, to be a firefighter. For 18 years, he proudly wore the uniform of our department and was of service to those in need throughout our community. He lived up to every word of that famous firefighter's prayer that goes in part something like this. Lord, give me concern and willingness to seek out those in need. Give me courage, the boundless of bound boldness of spirit to face and conquer fear, to share and endure the ordeal of others in need. Give me strength, the strength of heart, to bear whatever burden that might be placed on me, and strength of body to deliver safely all those placed in my care. Give me the wisdom to lead and compassion and comfort and love to serve unselfishly wherever you take me. And please, Lord, through it all, be ever at my side. We know that you are at the side of every first responder in this country. And we know, too, that Ryan is forever in your loving arms. Heavenly Father, we are ever confident that you always remember the good that each of us has done. It's often said that as long as someone remembers my name, I will live forever. The look of this wall and the heart of this station in memory of Ryan Ulcer tells everyone who sees it that Ryan will never be forgotten. He will live forever. And especially, Lord, at this time, when all are gathered here together, we remember the family that loved Ryan so deeply, the extended family that was so proud to say that Ryan Ulcer was one of us. He served at our side. For all this, we pray, amen. It's now my pleasure to introduce uh, Chief Mark Lorenzen, the Chief of the Ventura County Fire Department. Great. Thank you, Chaplain. Uh, to uh, everyone that's here today, our, our family and friends and our brothers and sisters, thank you for joining us. And as you notice and look at our badges today, we don't wear a mourning band because we are actually here gathered to celebrate and honor the legacy of our brother Ryan Osler. It's hard as we were reflecting this morning, we can't believe that it's, it's already been a year. Time has moved so quickly and yeah, there is not a day that goes by that each and every one of us doesn't think about Ryan and Jen and the rest of the family and think about just the legacy that Ryan has left us. And so it is the reason why we are gathered here today is to actually unveil this memorial that was built with the uh, blood, sweat and tears of the guys here at the fire station uh, just a number of members in the department came out here and really toiled over creating a lasting memory for us as we um, move forward into the future that really honors the legacy of a, a truly great man. And so it, it was. it is with that that I am going to turn over the unveiling to uh, Captain Shopper and Engineer Macklin and let them unveil this and I will describe it for everybody that is outside so when you come inside you'll know what, what it is that you're looking at. So with that, the unveiling please. So for those of you, when you come in and see it, we starting over on the right side, we have 
an etching from the uh, Fallen Firefighter Memorial in Colorado Springs that was just taken this past weekend. On it is an etching of Ryan's name, and right below it, his father's name, who also happens to be on the memorial. We have a, an engineer's helmet from Station 42, an engineer's badge. And up above, a California flag that was flown over the state capitol in Ryan's memory. A couple of favorite pictures of the family of Ryan. The American flag that draped Ryan's coffin on the day of his funeral. And a plaque in his memory that says this. In memory of Ventura County Fire Engineer Ryan S. Osler, who was killed in the line of duty on September 21st, 2016, responding to the Canyon Fire in Lompoc, California. Ryan was an 18-year veteran firefighter known for his strong work ethic, quick grin, and willingness to lend a helping hand to anyone in need. Our fallen brother loved his family and put others before himself. He gave his life serving others. May his memory, sacrifice, and legacy inspire all who visit Moorpark Fire Station 42. With that, I'd like to turn the microphone over to VCPFA President Chris Mann. Thank you, Chief. I really want to express the incredibly, incredibly humbling experience it's been over this last year since Ryan died the l amount of support that we've received from the community, from the department, from the county, from across the state and the nation has been just incredible. On the day of Ryan's funeral, we saw something we never expected to see. Every single engine in the Ventura County Fire Department was there. And what that meant was that our brothers and sisters from around the region we're filling every single fire station, every single ladder truck company, every single paramedic rescue squad. We're being covered by our brothers and sisters that we work with every day. That level of support is something that we can never repay, repay and it's something that we will forever be appreciative of. Since then, every event that we've had, every fundraiser, they have been there for us, and they continue to be. So on behalf of all of the firefighters and all of the members of the Ventura County Fire Department, we thank you, and please come and enjoy this wall. Okay, with that, that, that really concludes the what was supposed to be an informal ceremony today. We talked about not lining everybody up and giving them any kind of order. So the one and only order for you guys today is to come in and join us, enjoy the wall, and come into the engine room and break bread with us and celebrate the legacy and memory of Ryan Osler. With that, thank you all for coming today, and please come join us inside.